afternoon. Right, I've got to do a prom with this thing tonight. Someone wants me to take them to their prom again. So, all the interior lights come on, so that's a good start. Hasn't been started for a while, so I wasn't sure if the battery would be flat. Give it a go. Oh, there we go. Come on, man. Come on. company car. Right, a couple of little jobs to do beforehand. I've got an hour or two, so I, um, what have I done since the last video? I've put on these black and silver number plates, which I think look a lot better than the white front and the yellow at the rear. Much better exhaust are taken off the rear mufflers. So they're straight through pipes now. Um, they're not true dual, they are just a um, Y piece into a single pipe through and then back out. So it's not it's actually not that bad on, on a run, it's, it's reasonably quiet and not too drony. All my speakers packed up a while ago, so I've got some new front ones to go in. Um, and I've got to take ones out of the rear and uh, try and match them up as best as I can. And I've got a... Finally got a new black bit to replace that last bit of horrible wood veneer in there. So, uh, yeah. Let's get going. As you can see, my other lockup needs a severe bit of tidying. There's the Land Rover engine still at the back there. And you can't see it, but there's another one attached to that engine hoist over there, which I can't get to at the moment, so uh, nothing much has been done. Some car boot stuff there, ready for the next car boot. Um, an old oscilloscope, a Betamax video if anybody wants one load of old vinyl, 78s and 33s um, a load of old tyres, still a reasonable bit of tread on them but as you can see the side walls have started to perish um, but they'll do for burnouts and things like that and somewhere at the back there hopefully I should have A bit of plastic I need to go on the dashboard of that. So let's move these and go and have a look. As you could see, the old one's off. I was hoping to get it off in one piece, but uh, strangely, the outer edges they hadn't stuck down, um, but the top was stuck down quite quite badly. But uh, and obviously I needed to remove the wood to get to the uh, six, six, yeah, six Allen screws there. So, uh, yep, yeah, we've got a new one to go on. Or a replacement one that's in better condition and not wood. So give it a quick wipe over and on it goes. Well, that's part one done. And the lens is quite dirty, I've only given it a quick dust um, because as you can see it's broken down there, it's cracked there, it's quite badly scratched up there but mainly there you can see it's 
the outer casing is broken and it's cracked up there. Um, but the, so that needs replacing. I'll obviously order a replacement one of those when I replace that and this. But that definitely looks a lot better now that horrible wood veneer is gone. Right, next speakers. Well, there are the old speakers. There's the driver's side one. That's uh, not looking at its best. <laughs> Passenger side one. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know if they're the original speakers. I'm guessing they probably are. They certainly look like they're 30 odd years old. But uh, there are the new ones. A couple of Kenwoods. As you can see, they're only held in with one screw at the moment, which is one more than the old ones had in them. As you can see my dash is badly cracked and could do with a replacement but that's way down the line. Well, see if they work. Unfortunately I've got no aerial connected up at the moment and I thought I had an old audio cassette but I haven't put one in here. But you can hear noise, noise. I have got some white noise, at least I now know the speakers are working. Lovely old 80s stereo. Well, I've got one rear speaker out now. Just undone the two plastic nuts that are holding it on. Let's uh, see. Oh dear. Yeah, I would say that is probably knackered. All right, let's get the other one out and see if that's any better. Oh, well, the front of this one's also broken, so I don't think it's too much of an issue because I'm not sure if I'll put these back on. Right, again, let's take these nuts off they're only on finger tight apart from that one <laughs> and again let's uh... oh and that's just as bad yes <laughs> fantastic well, they definitely need replacing, there's no doubt about that. So, a couple of six by nines to be ordered.